I have no idea why Yamaga Blank, a Japanese company famous for making conventional popping, jigging and casting rods, wants to go into producing fly rod. Fly fishing is such a niche and crowded market. If you don't know who Yamaga Blank is, they are a company based in Kumamoto, Japan. They make their own rods and blanks. And if you know how the Japanese work, it is always about quality. I'm excited to get this. This is finally their finished product and this is the saltwater fly rod range. The one I'm holding here is the chalk weight. The earlier prototypes that they made were, uh, how should I put it, rather funky looking. They didn't look the part. I don't know how to describe it actually. Heavy to cast, just, just wasn't uh, right. But they, it's been a couple of years. I've been keeping in touch with them all the while and I'm excited to see how the rods have turned out. I like the design, I like the color. This rod is 8 foot 11, slightly different from the conventional 9 foot rod. They are made in Japan, of course. And this end, end chof. They have three meanings. So the first is salt. In some situations, salt in Japanese is pronounced as N. So that means uh, this is a saltwater rod. The second is fate. Uh, fate in Japanese is uh, pronounced as N as well. Basically what this symbolizes is the Yamaga Blanks saltwater series of fly rods could not have uh, happened without some good fate. Third and lastly is the way it looks or the shin. The way Japanese pronounce beauty, shiny, glossy is also N. Occasionally, the Yamaga Blanks fly rod series have beautiful cosmetics, modern graphics, and the finishing uh, by experienced craftsmen without compromise. So all these I actually got from the person in charge from Yamaga Blanks. They have the white dots for you to align the different sections of the rod. And I like these spiegel joints. You can see the tension to details. We had a, a little bit of opportunity to try out the rods for sailfish because when I got this, it was already towards the end of the sailfish season in Rompin. We did hook up a few fish. Eat it! Eat it! Unfortunately, they all either came off or jump off. The first stripping guide can be subjective. You know, some people they like them small, some people they prefer bigger stripping guide. So the first impression is uh, it's light and the casting feel is also light which is good. You can cast them all day. I like it. The freshwater fly rods will be out soon. Look forward to testing those as well. Thank you for still being here. I want to know if you have a favorite rod brand. Please uh, let me know in the comment below. I'll catch you guys the next time.